Hello, this is Ronnie. I'm sharing with you here a clip taken from a long video that I just finished to record to my subscribers. I think you will find uh, the clip very interesting. Gold. That's both gold price in US dollars monthly scale, taking us back to 1998. And you can see where we are in the big picture. We have done, we have gone through the ABC, we have gone through the X, we have gone through the A, we have gone through the B, and now we are looking at the C unfolding. The projection, the extreme projections, taking us back down here towards uh, 680, 670, uh, yeah, 700 or so, you see. That's the extreme projection that will actually take us back to the other side of this long-standing channel. Now, I do not think that the downtrend is over, far from it. I actually think that uh, both on the time scale and the price scale, we still have further to go on the downside here. And the next leg could be fairly dramatic. Sorry, you, you may be wondering what I'm talking about because we had such a nice rally on Friday. But I think that the rally on Friday is a trap. The last rally that we have seen is uh, basically part of an ABC. And I think it's a big trap. And uh, very soon we're going to find out this coming week if I'm right or wrong. And if this pattern that I'm using is correct, if it is correct, we're going to see a reversal that is going to uh, clip, clip all those buyers um, very, very quickly. And they're going to find out that uh, their positions, if they don't have a stop loss, their nice profits will turn into big losses uh, very quickly and we will slide into a third wave. In fact, when we come to examine the daily scale, you will see that we are very near uh, the complete uh, perfect point for uh, getting short, selling short, because we are going to break the support that you see here. The market is uh, rallying one more time, last time, before the break of this support, and the next target will become the black line. Uh, if you want, I give you the precise level. I think it's 870 or something. Let's have a look. It's, uh, where am I? A75. Yes, roughly 875 area. Okay, so I think they're going to slide from where we are right now, 10.65 or so. T sorry, 10.85. 10.85 to um, um, 8.75. Um, you see it's uh, $210. Uh, and that's not going to be the end of the uh, nightmare. I think that could just finish the, uh, the third wave in blue. And then further misery. And I'm just thinking... Maybe that misery is going to take us all the way down there, but they, of course there is no guarantee. There is no, they, there is no sign at this point in time, apart from the very long-term channel and uh, possible projections here that we might go that low. I am not sure. Let's take it step by step. That's the best way, the best way that I know to deal with these things. Uh, here we are. That's the X. That's the A. That's the B. We came down. That's our, and I'm now on the weekly scale. Sorry. So we have our one, we have two, we, ca we have come down in what I think is complete first leg of the third wave in uh, uh, blue. And we are correcting. We are correcting from the vicinity of our uh, brown line, the support level. And soon the correction should be over. And when we come down and we break through the bottom here, you want to be short. You might want to consider going short even earlier than that. That's totally up to you. That's the daily now. And that's my one. That's my two or two ending here. I won't get into this dilemma now. I mean, I won't uh, get into this debate. We can spend hours debating about that. What is important is that we got a bottom. We got a bottom, I think, right here. If I follow the lead of silver. And the rebound is part of an ABC structure. We'll see the details in a sec. Um, whether we, end, we started the move from here or here, I think we're going to target... At most, at most, we're going to target roughly the 50% retracement. Yeah, either way, whether we are taking this as a 1-2 or this as a 1-2, I think we are probably targeting this level as the top roof uh, for this correction, I think. It's 11.20. I wouldn't think it's going to go much higher than that. It's possible, it, in fact, it's going to stop at a lower uh, resistance level that you see indicated right here at uh, 11.06, roughly 11.10 area, okay, uh, that would fit the internal subdivisions that I have here, calling for about another $20, $25 move up, 
and that's the end of the story and if that's correct then that will be the end of the second wave when it comes down it breaks through my uh, orange line here um, that's it in my opinion there is no comeback yeah, no comeback for quite some time it's going to crash very badly this is now the 60 minutes and this is one that's an A that's a B one two we have two wave counts here you will see from silver that uh, the preference is to go with uh, more with a bold with a bold wave count that I'm showing you here silver is showing that um, it's better to consider this as one meaning the stretch that you see here is one okay that's two that's a third wave that is probably not complete just need a winning bit of uh, a push up here towards 1090 and then stabilization for a few hours and then another shot another shot of roughly uh, twenty dollars yeah twenty dollars roughly from this level that takes you to about 1110 or so as I said 1110 1105 and that would be a complete ABC and then if it comes down it begins to look really miserable begins to look miserable everybody is looking at the Fed yes they're going to raise rates the dollar is going to soar gold is going down the dumps it's breaking to 1075 in a miserable fashion you may want to um, actively consider selling short or uh, going if you don't like uh, too much uh, risk uh, with the futures you may want to consider going for uh, inverse ETF on the gold uh, gold market uh, there are plenty of choices you can even consider uh, buying puts uh, or buying calls on inverse ETFs of gold uh, there are plenty of choices plenty of things that you can do to suit your risk profile yes taking a, a short naked short position um, in the futures market is obviously the most risky option that you can have uh, there are other alternatives you don't necessarily have to embrace the highest risk possible you can go for something less risky that will nevertheless uh, have um, excellent uh, reward waiting for you if you are right and the reward could be magnificent if I'm reading this right and this is an ABC the reward is going to be absolutely huge as I've shown you it's going to be massive move down now the other option if you're wondering what is the other option I'll show you here briefly let's go to our 15 minute scale The other option is telling us that um, in fact we should take this as a 1, 2 and we run up here with a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that will be your 3. Do you see my question mark here? That will be your 3, that will be your 4 and a big stretch that we have seen here is not a third wave, it's a fifth wave. It's an extended fifth, okay? Yes, could happen you know uh, but I think very soon we will find out what which one is the right one as I said as soon as it breaks 1075 take note of that breaking 1075 in a miserable fashion and what I have in mind when I say miserable fashion is just going down in the same way that it went up like that you know in fairly impulsive manner it breaks down through that that's a signal you really want to pay attention you want to pay attention and once it breaks down through the floor in my opinion quite frankly you have no excuse if you're interested in trading you're interested in uh, selling short you just have no excuse left you got to go you go in and sell it breaks through the floor here it's going into a third wave now here's silver that's the monthly of silver and silver is just about attempting to hold on to support of the black line that you see here massive support and as you can imagine I don't think that's going to work uh, silver in my opinion is doomed it's going to continue down uh, in style uh, we have uh, worked with the idea of an ABC that's our X we have an A we have a B and you know that I'm taking the slide here to be the C possibly the final C okay and uh, once we break through uh, the recent lows uh, I think the door is open to crack through the next level of support and I won't be surprised to see silver breaking under 10 okay this is the very long term uh, we still have uh, a channel that is very dominant silver is barely outside that channel but the situation is not looking very healthy this is the X that's an A that's a B and I think we have a 1 2 it's the same structure that we discussed in gold and that's a 1 2 if I'm right we're going into a 3 of 3 
that's normally an extremely powerful, extremely violent and panicky, panicky uh, move. Now, here's the wave count for the daily. Uh, one, two, uh, now we come down, that's a one, two, three, four, five, that's an A, that's a B, we're going up in a C. That's what Silva is doing. Um, I think that that is looking quite good. There's an alternative, a slight alternative, I'll show you in a sec. And again, this critical level that you want to take note of, breaking 1440 right here, breaking 1440, you want to start preparing the shorts, breaking through my black line, just go for it. Just go for it. I, I think it is uh, doomed. It, it is, it is doomed. That's it. it. It is doomed. It's going to crack. It's going to, it's going to collapse very badly. Now here's the 60 minutes, and we're looking at uh, at an ABC. That could be an A. It could be also that is not an A. What I mean is uh, that you are not supposed to, to encapsulate this as a, as a part of one pattern. You just leave it. You just leave it. What happens then? Well, you have an ABC. Fine. You have an ABC. Okay. And then you have an A. You have a B. It's going up in a C. So what? Well, that turns out to be an X. So what happens is that you have an ABC X, ABC. And then it simply means that the move could actually t end quicker than otherwise. The blue wave count is telling you that this is one, this is two, that's a third wave. Yeah, we need a slight pop here to complete the third wave, and then a fourth and then a fifth. But if it is an ABC, it's not going to give you that. Okay, that's the difference. If it is an ABC, then very quickly after it pops its head just uh, above the recent high, it's going to slump. It's going to slump through uh, 1440. And that might be really the sign that it's ready on its way to less than 1410, 1415, and basically go uh, a lot, a lot lower. I want to show you the 15 minutes, so you have really a very good look at what's happening here and how I interpret that. I'm taking this as a possible uh, one, yes, yeah, so a one, two, three, four, five, one, two, and that is our uh, run here. Uh, wait, I think it was, yeah, it was like that. The labelings move when I adjust the perspective. I get a different, yeah, it was like that right here. Yeah, and that gives you a one, two. You run up here, three, four, but you need another three, four. Meaning you have a one, two, three, four, and that's what I said. We need a pop about fourteen sixty or so to complete the run that began way back here. If I'm reading it right, then if it hangs around here for several more hours, it is preparing for another shot. Yeah, if it's finished, it's gonna break through fourteen forty five and it's heading towards breaking my orange line, the critical level, and down it goes. Just in case you would like to have further information or to learn more about my website, I thought of introducing very briefly uh, my website here. Um, that is the front page and uh, if you scroll down you will see there are quite a few examples of uh, uh, recent clips that I added. I also have uh, a lot of charts here. If you're interested, uh, uh, there are a lot of charts that you can study examples of past market action. Uh, there are also uh, more charts here under re under resources at uh, the chart galleries. You have chart galore number one, number two, plenty, plenty of charts. You've got uh, useful links, recommended reading list, uh, okay, terms of use, private policy. You can get in touch with me if you have any issue, any question whatsoever. Uh, here is a description of the services, okay, and uh, uh, in fact, this you will see once you log in. Uh, it will let you see what you subscribe to, okay? So if you subscribe to the Wave Mastery daily service video, you'll get that. If you subscribe to the weekend service, you'll get that. But if, before subscribing, you might want to actually take a look at, uh, at a trial. Okay, so you can actually have a, a trial of the daily video service, the full service. Uh, you click right here. And it takes you to the page of the uh, the trial. It's uh, seven calendar days. It only costs two ninety nine. Okay, two ninety nine euros. You can pay with PayPal. It gives you access to the uh, to the archive. Uh, you can also uh, get in touch with me if you uh, have specific questions. Uh, I will uh, do my best to answer that. Um, 
that is the daily service trial uh, and that's the daily service the full scale um, then we have the wave mastery weekend uh, video service trial this is also uh, priced at only uh, $2.99 it gives you 12 calendar days you get two long videos with that okay fresh videos and you get uh, access to the archive and again you can get in touch with me if you have any questions uh, that is the issue of the trial uh, here on the main page you have some articles that you might uh, want to have a look at and uh, that's the very brief introduction of my website hope you enjoy the clip hope to see you on my website don't hesitate to get in touch with me wishing you successful trading bye now